Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, today I thought that we would do a floral card. I love florals um, and I don't tend to do... I'm trying to do all sorts of a mixture of different things to see what people like and more what I enjoy doing. And I know that, you know, some people think, oh yes, it's really nice. Other people are like, mm, it's not my thing. So I thought I would go back to doing a very simple but pretty um, floral card. I'm using this stamp set, um, which has been around for quite a long time. It's not around anymore, it's retired, but you can use anything you want. I want this to give me my background and I'm going to do this little flower as a little piece to go on top. So it's going to be quick, simple and easy. And we can do it in with a variety of different stamps, but I'm going to do it with this one because I think that that will work. I want that just slap bang in the centre there. And I need to get a block that's going to fit that one, which is going to be this one, I think. And then I'm going to take a little one for the little flower. So um, I've chosen three colours as well. So I've got a pink um, and this sounds a bit odd, but I think it'll work. Sometimes if you have colours that clash a bit, um, you can still get them that work quite well. So we're choosing um, Magenta Black Madness, so a bright pink. An orange, because that goes with my back, which is pumpkin pie, but any orange. And Wisteria Wonder, which is sort of a purpley blue, um, which I think is rather nice. Now... I want to just, let's take my backing off to start off with, I want to literally just stamp this, which is going to be my background. So I'm going to do that in the palest one, which is going to be the Wisteria Wonder. And I just need to, oh, I'm just hoping that it's, I think that should be all right. Make sure there's enough ink on there. I'm just going to, test it out on here because it might oh it's perfect 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 so I just want this in on the center like that and that gives me my background it doesn't matter that it hasn't stamped completely in the center it's just to give that look because we're doing it as quite a a clean and simple you could mat and layer it you could do a little square on there um, I'm just showing a very simple way of doing it so that's our first piece and then we are going to take just these this little rose which again is quite a pretty little detailed one and I want to just put three of those. So I've got a scrap and we're going to take I think I only want to ink that up nicely and we'll have one um, I don't know whether I'm going to have two pink and one orange or two orange and one pink so i'm going to cut both of those out let me just clean this one up again now as you know pink will stain but it doesn't affect the um, the stamps at all so you can probably see that some of mine are quite um, different coloured but that's fine so and we'll have two of the orange because I don't know I think I'm going to have two orange and a pink because it's going on the back here and as I say I've chosen colours that you would automatically think might clash but when you put them together sometimes um, they just work so I need to get my paper snips or any good sharp scissors that you might have. Um, these are the ones that 
I like a lot so I'm going to just cut these out but I'm cutting them so that they have a little bit of a white border because if you look at the center of this it has a bit of a white border anyway and I just want it to have that little border around the outside so that it looks quite good if you cut it too tight um, then you don't have that little little piece that's coming out so that's one and we're going to do the other two as orange aren't we to go with the backing and this is a way of very simply doing a card and you can use any little floral image you can use any background just one little stamp of the background there's quite a lot of you know you know what you've got in your stash so use what you've got but if you happen to have this one, then it's a good one to use. And I know that it was very popular when it came out, like most. And like most stamps, I think, I must admit, I'm finding a lot of um, UK stamping companies now where they've got stamps that have been around for you know five six seven years and you can still buy them which i think is great um i must admit one of the things i find quite difficult is when those companies that you know you can buy a stamp for three months sometimes sometimes only for you know a very limited time and it's difficult then when you're trying to show things and they're always out because they you can't buy them but on a lot of the um, selling sites and things you can pick up ones if you really like them okay so we're now going to put these three just in on the center like this and I think I you see I could just have two I always think the power of three but I'm not sure whether three is going to yes it will if I do it just like that sideways okay so that's going to work like that again very clean and simple and then i just want a very simple sentiment so i'm going to use something of that so very happy to know you i love our beautiful friendship um that's quite nice isn't it let's put um sorry i'm i'm dithering on there do i do so very happy um, I love our beautiful friendship I think probably I just didn't want to have anything that was too over the top um, in fact I was taking another one because you could do exactly the same thing with this down the, the as the background and do one of these little flowers and I was tempted so I'm just going to take the hello out of here actually because I don't want to have anything too big so We'll have the hello that's going to come in on the uh, it's going to be black actually because i just think we don't want to have um any of the other colors mixing up too much so i'm just going to take black put this in like that always take it so that it's in where on the straight edge then you don't have to do too much cutting of it and then I want to take it quite long and thin so I'm cutting it right the way along here and then I can take it up on that side and then I want to take that on here because I want it quite in on there I can just put the hello in underneath like that okay so I can put these on with dimensionals if I want to um, which I might do actually no I know it won't I'm 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 trying to avoid putting um, you know things on with 
foam pads dimensionals um, because of the postage. Um, the postage is, is horrendous at the moment so and it keeps going up for everybody wherever you are so I'm very much like I want to have quite sort of simple and I'm just going to put this rest it on because I don't know exactly if you don't the one thing with wet glue is you have what they call wiggle room which means that I can put these down just on the side and then this one in the center without it um, so I can line them up before I turn around and commit myself to it so move this across a bit and we'll put this one just straight in oh, whoa. straight in on the center like that I can take it out okay so that's given me those little three on there and then we're just going to have this in underneath and I could have it over the top I'm not I'm just going to have it straight in underneath and I could mass and layer it but I'm not going to I'm just going to put it underneath like that and then I have got I don't know whether I've got an orange in there let's have a little look I might have um, I haven't got some orange, but I've got, um, oops, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I've just whacked the camera with my head. Oh, I hope that hasn't moved you completely out of the way, has it? Let me bring it down just a bit. I literally stood up and whacked the camera with my head so as you know I do everything live all my mistakes and everything go on there so you just have to that's me I'm afraid so you just have to um, to bear with it now I could use a yellow what colors have I got that would turn I've got the pink I'm going to use a bit of yellow I think because that will tone in quite nicely so to just map this all I'm going to do is take this pen and we're going to go underneath it so just underneath like that if you do it that side you get a finer line and as I say I use these all the time now for stuff because um, when I'm doing I use these for or I bought them to do pebbles if you do pebble art Posca pens are very good for that so that's what I was using them for, but they're perfect for this. So, there we go. Then that can go in on here. And that makes a beautiful, simple, easy card. And what I can do is to just put a couple of little, a couple of little gems or something in on the top, which I will probably do later. I'll just put sort of one, two, three, and then that will just finish it off. So hope you enjoyed that. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.